Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am home from our little mini vacation and our mailbox was quite full. I have a few friend shares to share with you today. Um, so I have my trusty cup of coffee here and we will go ahead and get right into it. The first one is a card from a friend on and she actually just sent me a card um, sending me well wishes and that she saw these stickers and thought of me. So that was super sweet. And I actually did not get any of these stickers. I have not yet. And they're the little makeup themed ones. So I can definitely use these in a planner spread as well as any upcoming project. So I'm happy to have these. Thank you, Arm. And then. The next package is from Angela. She and I were partnered for a white, a white themed um, embellishment box. So I will go ahead and pull everything out. All right. So it looks like oh, that's so sweet. She put my name on it. So we'll set that aside. Looks like she sent some double-sided tape. I can always use that. And some trim, which is the white with silver. I don't have that. Not trim. Baker's twine. She sent me some adhesive foam dots. Those are extremely useful. I will definitely use those. Thank you. And some white doilies, which you can never have enough of. And here is her card. Oh, and this is my first um, card from the uh, card kits that you can get at Tuesday morning, the Anna Griffin stuff. That's really, really pretty. That was very sweet. Thank you, Angela. Yes, I agree. It was very hard to come up with white um, things for this embellishment box. So I totally agree. All right. And right here on top, we have a face wash. Best face forever. So I will definitely use that. Thank you. And it looks like we have some white paper flowers. You can never have enough of those. And I don't have any of these, so this will be very, very useful, the little white tags. These are great for um, the handmade embellishments that everybody's doing. In this one we have a bunch of different sized white brads. Some are glittered. These large white ones. Looks like I have some hearts as well as some dice. Those are really cute. And here we have some um, votive candles. This is a really cute idea, just wrapping them in washi tape. I think I did send her one of those too, so that's cool. Thank you. And here we have some white um, clothespins. And over here we have white buttons. Can never have enough buttons. I like using those on projects. And these are really cool. They have um, paisley designs on them, so those will be really pretty. And over here we have some white um, paper clips, the large ones. <clears throat> and we have a project upcoming, so I can use those. Some pearls. Some more of those tags. Thank you for sending so many. This is great. Oh, okay, these are Posh, that Posh brand. So this is a little sample of a soap. Cool, thank you. I have not tried that brand. And then I don't have any of these. These are awesome, the little resin flatback roses. Love those. And here we have some lace. Love that, don't have any of that. Some more lace and some white ribbon. So, Angela, thank you so much for this box. 
I will get very good use out of everything you sent and I'll be able to keep I'm actually going to keep all these embellishments in this box and just use it as it is until it's empty and then I'll repurpose it <clears throat> so that was awesome thank you very much Angela it was a good swap uh, being partnered with you so I thank you for that and the next swap I have is from Kat she and I were partnered <clears throat> Gosh, and it escapes me. I don't remember what we were partnered for, but we shall see. I think it was a beach-themed pocket letter. Um, if you don't already, Kat does have a YouTube channel. It's called Kat's Paper Design with a K. So make sure to go follow her and tell her that I sent you. We are in the works of doing a, a YouTube collab. We're just coming up with our theme and everything and then hopefully we'll get that going for you guys soon but look at this really cute summer themed uh, wrapping paper it's a little English bulldog on a surfboard with sunglasses and it's silver foiled that is really 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 cute I don't think I was as creative in my presentation as this but I can salvage some of it. And I'm a dog mom, so that was perfect. <clears throat> All right. Put that aside. That's really heavy wrapping paper. That's good stuff. All right, so first of all, we have some handmade embellishments, and these are really, really pretty. I've enjoyed making these types of things, too. She did a little bag topper, <coughs> and these will come in handy on future swaps. Definitely can use those. Oh, and she did these. These have a little crab in the, on them. Those are really pretty. I love her style. She's really uh, good at layering, which I'm still trying to master. And then she, oh, she did some bag toppers for me. So cool. So I can use those on a swap. And then she did another one up here. So that is really cute. Thank you. And this smells really, really good. She stamped out a unicorn image so I can color that and use it. And this is a sachet. It's Hawaiian Plumeria. Hmm, that smells really good. It'll stay here in the um, filming area. I'll put it right next to the window so the vent can blow that out. And we have, uh oh, looks like this little guy came off of something, but I can reuse that. And we have a clothespin with a seahorse. That's really cute. And here are some more handmade embellishments. I'm really digging these. Good job, Kat. They're really pretty. And then, wow, I really, 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 I don't know if you guys can tell, but this thread has little tiny seed beads on it. Those are really, really pretty. I don't know if I can use those or I may just have to hoard those. <laughs> says every crafter. All right, and here is something wrapped up with a really cute belly band on some pretty, it's almost like a uh, chintz fabric ribbon, but it's got the crinkles in it, so that's really cute. I'll reuse that. <laughs> Sorry if the lighting is a little off, it's dark here. We took a nap when we got home from our trip and now it's almost nine and we're not sleepy anymore. So, oh, how sweet, I don't have this doll. The beach is my happy place and her name is Camille. So that is really sweet, Kat. Thank you so much. I don't have her. 
and I'm really um, enjoying all the doing the tags and things we're doing in our group with the um, Julie Nutting dolls so I think I'm going to forego the one I'd already stamped out for the 4th of July tag I'm gonna make and I think I'd rather do her I think that will look really pretty in red white and blue colors so yep yeah, that's what I'm gonna do definitely gonna put that to use here in a little bit and this is her pocket letter how sweet this little tag has my initial on it a bead that is so cool to reuse items like that. That is neat. That's a really cute idea to make a little cluster like that. She's so creative. And then right off the bat, I see these paper clips. And she has dangles on them with a starfish, some beads, and a seahorse. That is really, really cute. I'll have to study that because we have a swap coming up with um, dangles and charms and I'm, I have not made one yet so here's another one this one has a sea turtle and little flower beads how cute is that wow those will come in really handy I can put these on my um, small planners and then here is the pocket letter and if you guys um, notice she does a lot of vintage style things so this is totally her her style and up here it looks like beach scene and then she used some of those punches and made um, see you know the sea I want to say seaweed, but I don't know if that's the right term. And then all of this paper is just really cute. Alright, and then on the back she has included lots of goodies. I won't take everything out, but this is catching my eye. because she made another dangle, oh my gosh, and it is a spider. Do you guys see that? How freaking awesome is that? <laughs> I love anything Halloween-y, spooky, and she sent me the cutest little charm. I will have to put this on probably my crop bag. Wow, that is really cute. Thank you. And then it was attached to this vellum paper that she made an envelope out of. I never did get my hands on this paper. No, I'm regretting it. Okay, so this is her note. So I'll read that off camera. But it looks like she filled it up with um, all kinds of trims and um, die cuts that she made. Those look like clouds and I can definitely use those. I want to punch or a die for a cloud and I don't have that and then she sent a bunch of little sea creature cutouts and some trims so yeah that is a beautiful pocket letter I love being partnered with her I get a lot of inspiration from her and I call her my vintage spirit animal because we both love vintage so much and these kind of images right here just I don't know they just speak to me so yet again, Kat, another beautiful pocket letter and I appreciate it so much. Thank you for being my swap partner and I look forward to the next time. And I'm also looking forward to our collab. So let me know after you get my pocket letter what you think. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys, let me take a drink. Okay. And the last swap comes from Victoria. Again, we were partner. And this is camping themed. I just sent mine out to her Saturday, so hopefully she'll get hers on. Sometimes she gets them, if I mail on Saturday, sometimes she gets them on Monday. 
So she may have it now or um, it'll be tomorrow. Okay. So this feels like the pocket letter. We'll go to this first. Alright. How cute is this? That is so pretty. I want to take it out of the bag so you guys can see it without a glare. How cute is that? So with the um, Julie Nutting Doll, I love the newspaper print or the book print for the skin. I love doing that myself. I just think it looks so cute. And this tag is just really, it's... Um, just really cute. Wow, thank you, Victoria. That's really cute. All right, and she sent some paper straws. Love those. I don't think I have any of these, so I can make some wands. Thank you. And then she sent over some journaling cards. And again, I don't use these as often as I should, so I'm going to make it a point when I go to the crop to um, try to use some of these. As she said, bigger ones. Actually, I could really use that. These are really pretty. And I did get some, that looks like Maggie Holmes to me, it reminds me of Maggie Holmes. Domestic superstar, yes, my husband would disagree though. Mom's maid service. Sorry, we're closed. Story of my life. Sorry about the mess, but we live here. That is so true. <laughs> and then she sent some really pretty lace trim. And thank you guys for sending me so much trim. I really don't have much. And that was clipped with a bird paper clip. I don't have any of those either. And this looks like her tiny note. I recognize that paper. Always look forward to swapping with you. Hope you like this pocket letter and stuff. Victoria. She has awesome handwriting too. So yes, Victoria, I appreciate everything. Now let's get into the pocket letter. and I have to share a funny story we totally used the same ephemera <laughs> I used this um, stargazer uh, paper pad and the ephemera to match it but she used it I stuck with these um, light colors and she went more brown tones and I love it absolutely love it and I have this washi tape I hoard this because I love it so much and I haven't seen it since I got this one. And that is really, really pretty. I love swapping with Victoria because she does awesome pocket letters and I really get a lot of inspiration from her. And as I'm looking closer at this, even though I don't have my glasses on, she has literally stitched this paper. You can see it on the back. But she stitched this paper together, and I think I saw her and Kat talking about this in group, and she calls it Franken paper. That is so neat. I want to look at one more. Yep. And that's pretty thick, so she was she was able to put that into her sewing machine. I don't have a sewing machine. 
maybe that's in my future because I love seeing all the stitching on everybody's projects and I don't do that unless it's hand stitch and you know mama ain't gonna be doing any hand stitching I don't even sew a button on so that is awesome Victoria this uh, pocket letter is so pretty I will have to hang this with the rest of them I keep uh, the recent ones on display until it's time to put them away and I always hate doing that so yeah if you look at the back you can see all the different stitching how creative that is awesome all right so you guys that wraps up this video and all of my swaps that I got in over the weekend so I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I will see you in the next video don't forget to like subscribe and share the channel much love